Hey you guys, back again with another video. Today I'm going to make me some homemade chicken salad my way. Um, you can add celery to it. You can add whatever you want to it. But I'm using, I'm using what I'm using. So we're going to start with this. This is a whole chicken. Well, actually it's not a whole chicken now, but it was a whole chicken. So, I'm going to use the breast part of the chicken, and I'm going to make my salad with it. I'm going to use an onion. I'm going to use, because this chicken is already seasoned, so you can, you don't have to add extra salt. I'm going to use black pepper, parsley, and paprika, and what I'm using for mine is sour cream because I don't use mayo with um the store brought mayo because it has eggs in it and I don't eat eggs you know due to egg allergy so I mean I can make my own mayo I can either go to the store but I'm using what I have now and I like it with um sour cream it's delicious so I'm gonna, oh, I said I was going to put gloves on because I don't want to, you don't have to use gloves, but I'm using gloves. So, yeah. And I like mine's room temperature. I don't like it cold. See, I like, I like chicken breast only when I'm going to use it in a chicken salad, you know, because I really just like dark meat. So... I'm making it my way. You can add what you want to yours, you know. But I like mine's like this, you know. My husband took the ate the skin off the top, <laughs> but I don't use the skin anyway. I only use the the breast meat and a little bit of dark meat. So yeah, this is so good, y'all. This is really good. This is actually my third time making it. Mm -hmm. First I started with the Spanish um, chicken and I used that and then I got this is my second whole chicken. But I only use the breast part. The white meat. But you can use dark meat too. You know. You can use the dark meat. <laughs> so I'm going to put it in a bowl so I'm going to break it up first and then I'm going to put it in the bowl just so y'all can see it make sure the bones are out look at that that's a bone right there all right this goes so good with some um, cucumbers. You can have it with with lettuce. You can do a lettuce wrap. And I got still got a leg and thigh right there, but I'm not going to use that. I eat that later. But yeah, so I got this from. This is a rotisserie chicken, fresh made rotisserie chicken from Western Beef. Now I can I can make my own season my own chicken but hey store bought is you know it's good too plus all my chicken is frozen so <laughs> so yeah this is really good so yeah like I said and you can add mustard to it too you can add uh what I said green onions to this but I'm using and you can use and you can put green peppers in there too you make it your way how you want it. You know, I'm putting gloves on because it's my business. No. <laughs> in the words of in the words of Tiffany um Tabitha Brown, it's my business. Because it's my business. 
So I'm going to move this to the side right here. Move that to the side. Now I'm going to cut me an onion. Oh. Hope this is not strong like the last one. And I got to rinse this. Um, ooh. I got to, because I want to get the, the um, stuff in the... I don't want to get the stuff in the, in my food, the skin, you know, the arm, the onion skin. I don't want to get that in my food. Mm -mm. We don't want to be sitting on there chewing onion skin. He is dead. You sound like a, a horse eating apples or whatever. So I'm going to go rinse this off. I'll be back. Now I'm going to use a half an onion. Well, it depends on how... Um, how oniony I want it. How many I, mean, I love onions, so. so this is the bowl. I'm gonna put it in. Now that's a lot. I you usually when I make this, I only use half of the um whole chicken. Like the one one side of the thigh um one side of the um Breasts. I only use one breast. I don't use both of them. Mm. <coughs> Oops, excuse me. Put that right there. Now we're going to cut these onions up. And you can use dark meat too if you want. Like a leg chicken. I can add a little piece of dark meat to it. I could do that too. You know, I can use that too. Mm. Oh, I got a turk, a chicken neck. Didn't get that in the last one. Somebody must have ate. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is gonna burn my eyes. I should have put this in water. Like I said, you can have this. You can have this with um, cucumbers, you can have this with lettuce, you know, you can have it with some bread as a sandwich. Um, I did it with the cucumbers and, and um, I was thinking about trying it with the um, um, rice paper. That sound good. Slice you up, you use some tomatoes, not tomatoes, I don't even eat tomatoes. Slice you up some cucumbers. I think I'm probably going to wind up using the whole onion because there's a lot in here. And I like mine's, you know, every bite to be onions. Ooh. If you hear that noise, that's my son playing with his friend online. Ooh. And you can also add an egg to it, too. And um, mustard, too. Like, however you want to make it. I'm not adding no onions to it. I mean, no um, extra salt to it. The chicken is already seasoned nice. And between the, um, well, the sour cream, that's extra salt. So, I'm not, you know, I don't try to, I don't add extra salt if I don't have to. And then also, I add my ranch, homemade ranch dressing to this. So, that got salt in it too, so. I don't add no extra salt because the chicken is already seasoned. But, you know, if you want to, I think that's a lot of, okay, that's going to be it. I'm going to leave this one, this left. Ooh, my eyes are burning. Ooh, this onion is strong because I'm really close to it. Oh, all right. I should have brought a spoon, but I ain't even used a fork. I don't know why I brought this fork with me. So this is what's how it is. What's how it is? How it is? This is how it looks. This is so good. I'm gonna sprinkle some pepper on this. Mhm. Mm I don't even. I don't measure the sour cream. How, what I put in here, because um, I just do it until it's fully covered. This may be a lot of um mm -hmm. so yeah then you add your 
sour cream or if you or mayo, you know. I would say yogurt, but I don't know how that tastes, but you can use mayo, you know. You can use mayo. So I'm gonna put the remainder of the sour cream in there. We're gonna mix it up together. We're gonna mix it all together. Mm -hmm. How's everybody doing today? I know I'm acting all late. And also, if you're new to my channel, subscribe, like, New, new subscribers, hello, welcome. Oh, hmm. I don't even know how much that is. I don't know how much. Mm -hmm. And put a little more in here. It's not as uh, wet as I want it to be. So, yep. This can be a meal, this can be a snack. You can also put like a, some cheese on it. And this is also like my substitute to tuna fish. So can't have tuna fish, so I make, cause I used to make it like this. Um, when I was able to eat tuna fish, I used to make it up like this, but I would use mayo Back then, that's when I was able to eat whatever I want, except shellfish, of course. What is going on? Guess I gotta open up a new pack. Open up a new pack of sour cream. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And I, and I think, let me see. Ooh, it got 15 milligrams. Ooh, I should have. I use this as a, a mayo substitute anyway, sour cream to me. I use this as a mayo sour cream, you know. And I don't, I have to, the mayo I make don't last over a week. So, it don't make no sense to make mayo for this. And I'm only using it for this. And I don't use it for nothing else. And then I'll sit in the refrigerator and it'll go bad. Yeah, I make my own eggless um, mayo. I'm going to do a video making that. One day, eggless mayo for those who don't eat eggs. Mmm. You put a little salt on it. Oh no, I'm not. Yep. I actually like it. <clears throat> Make it like this. You know. I mean, actually, this is yeah. This is also could be a substitute for tuna fish too. If you don't eat um um tuna fish, you can make you some um chicken salad mm -hmm. yep, i'm gonna need some more um of sour cream mm. don't worry i'm the only one eating this mm -hmm. i'm the only one eating this daisy Do -do. I got to go easy on this sour cream. I may have to find another. Well, actually, I do have another substitute to this. Making my eggless mayo. Yep. But that lasts a week in, in the freezer, in my refrigerator. So, that's it, you guys. You taste it. Season it to your liking. Add more pepper to it if you want. I love parsley too. I'm gonna add some more parsley on top. This is more of a garnish. And ooh, my shoulders hurt. Add more. Now I have smoked paprika. You can use that too. I didn't know they had sweet pepper paprika. But I know about the smoked and the regular. So this is the finished product, y'all. So that's it, you guys. That's all. That's that's all to it. In the meantime, in between time, <coughs> ooh, we gonna go. Now let's taste it. Now normally, you you would cover it 
with the top and put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate, you know, get cold. But I don't do that step. I mean, it just as is. You can have this with some cucumbers, but I don't have no cucumbers cut up right now. So I'm going to say grace and I'm going to taste it for y'all. Amen. Here you go. Mmm. You can put dill in here too. You know. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I like to spice me a cucumber and put some on top of it. And just bite into it. It's a refreshing snack. It's a refreshing snack. I'm going to mess around and sit here and eat this whole thing. And lately, I've been eating a lot of chicken. Air fried chicken. This chicken. Mm. There's never too much chicken. Like um, Luther Vandross says. Never too much, never too much, never too much. Now, see you guys in the next video. Mm, this is so good. I don't even need salt. And if you seasoning it yourself, your chicken, you know how much seasoning you put in your chicken. I take the skin off when I'm making my salad. I don't put skin in mine. I use mostly white chicken breast. And sometimes I put a little dark meat in there, but I didn't do it this time. But in the meantime, between time, I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all stay safe. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. 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 I have sea salt right here, but I don't need to add it. <clears throat> they seasoned this good at West End Beef, you know, and this sour cream already have salt in it. No need to add extra to it. Whew. I need to cut me up some cucumbers and eat some of this and throw some cheese on it. I can't stop eating it. Mmm. Mm. Look what I did already. Put a dent in it. I was dipping it already. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Oh my gosh. This is so good. And you can add whatever you want to this, to your chicken salad. Why? Because it's your business, and it's your kitchen, and it's your food. You enjoy it the way you want to enjoy it. Now, if y'all see me making some type of cake, don't go switching out baking soda for baking powder. Mm -mm, it don't work that way with bake when I'm, when I'm making cakes. You have to follow as is. All right, y'all. I know I said, I know I did my outro like three times already, but this time for real. Peace, love, and hair grease. Until next time, stay blessed, be safe, and um, let me leave you with this. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. All right, y'all. Until next time.